He was able to drink that straight? I don't think you're supposed to. We just to. did. We just, well, we had 35 calories each right there. <laughs> and that little swig. It's delicious though. That right? was tasty. It's real. I'm going to have some of that. I think we look good though. All right. You look good. <laughs> you look good also, my friend. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Restituto, and welcome back to another episode of Drinking with Jacob. I'm pumped for today. We got a good friend of mine, Joe Daly, here. He's got a really cool story and a really interesting business, actually. So I'm really looking forward to getting into this. So you ready to get started? I'm ready to get started. All right, let's throw on your mask over there. Okay. All right. Uh, I gotta Thinking... tell you, there's one time that I've had a blindfold on. Yeah. And I totally freaked out. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like you should, you, you should, I just thought of it just now. In the rider, like before we start, you know. <laughs> yeah, only green M and M's. Yeah, no exactly, <laughs> exactly. Nice, yeah. good reference. That's funny. All right, so we're starting it off a little unique this time. Check the expiration date on. Uh, okay. It's only a month expired. I think we should be around. Hey, remember everything that you drink, I'm drinking with you. Oh. All right. Here you go. Here's your, here's your cut right here. Cheers. Sure. Take a sniff first and tell me what you think it might be. Wow, it smells minty. It does smell minty. Yeah. Go for it. Oh, no, okay. sorry. I'm going to take a sip. Yeah, we're you good. What? No, oh, all right. <laughs> oh, it is delicious. And it's expired and it's that delicious. <laughs> I want to say, is it chocolate syrup? No, that's a, that's a good guess. It is not. You can take it off. It is peppermint mocha coffee mate coffee cream. <laughs> You were able to drink that straight? I don't think you're supposed to. We just to. did. We just, well, we had 35 calories each right there. <laughs> and that little swig. It's delicious though, right? That was tasty. It's real. I'm gonna have some of that later. Yeah, right? <laughs> Take a little bit home. A road soda. Oh, wow, that's funny. So welcome to the show. How about you introduce yourself to the world? Thank you so much for taking the time to be on. Oh yeah, it's a total honor to be no, here. No, I appreciate like it. I was telling you, it's been a it's been a long week. It's been mm -hmm. really good to be here. Um, yeah, just so you get to know me, I'm uh, Joe Daly, a local guy from uh, East Northport, a small business owner. Not so down. small anymore. It's, yeah. It was small, and now yeah. it's getting medium-sized business on its way to a large-sized business, for yeah. sure. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I would say so. You know, it, it's been, uh, it's definitely been getting busier, you yeah. know, and uh, it's been just the right pace. You know, we started, mm. uh, you know, from, from zero. You know, we started from uh, our backyard. The name of the company is Born Again Backyards. And, uh, you yeah, know, that was our first company that we started. And that was a year ago. Yeah, so how about you get time. into that a little? So so okay. tell tell me, tell everybody what the Born Again Backyards actually is. Okay. And then we'll go into how you actually got into that. So let's start okay. with exactly what it is. And then the offshoots from there. So exactly. previous to starting this company, I was working on Wall Street, as you know, for about 20 years. And I worked at a few different investment banks um, within the equity division. And... Were you what they call a money, uh, a market maker? Exactly. You were a market maker. Yeah. So I started as a market maker on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. I was going to say working in the pits and trading in the pits, but actually before that, you really just run around and give people co coffees and, and really? and lunch. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> and that's so how you pay your dues. It's yeah, you still carry like big, that. You carry big, well, this was 20 years ago. Now it's, it's I mean, 20 like years that. ago was like the 90s. It's, that's yeah. not that long. It's not like it was the 40s and 50s. Yeah, you know? exactly. So you pay your dues and um, it's not like somebody, that gets, more, though? somebody gets to like you. No, right now it's all computerized. And basically, if you go down to the New York Stock Exchange, it's... Probably like this, like a little, a little uh, movie what actually, scene. What yeah. even happens on that? Do you still see people running all around? But what are they doing? What are they going for? Like, they're trying to figure out what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> they're, uh, oh, that's funny. They're surviving. You know what? And more power to them. But it, like, really, what happened was it's beyond somebody's control. It's just the advent of technology mm -hmm. and algorithms and things getting more complex and the ability of machines to do what people used to do. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean. I would relate it to um, like collecting tolls, right? You used to have yeah. to stop, pay the toll collector, go through the bridge, go through the toll, right? And you know, it was very manual and you paid the person, you got your change and you went, right? All of a sudden the easy pass came, right? And yeah. it was just one easy pass lane, right? It wasn't, you yeah. remember? And then yeah. a few people started going over, over there and everybody's like, what's going on? You know what I mean? But I'm sure the toll collectors are like, wow, what's up with this easy pass? Absolutely. You know? so, that's a, basically what happened to my job as a yeah. trader. Interesting. It, yeah, it becomes extinct when the advent of technology comes into it. Yeah, I mean, I just watched the movie uh, uh, Wall Street with yeah. uh, Charlie yeah, Sheen and everything. Me, yeah, yeah. yeah. what did so, you think? Oh, for, it was fantastic. It was really well done. Really, really kept me engaged. And I just also found it fast, fascinating to see how things have changed, mm -hmm. even in the sense of like, you know, how they even counted the numbers. They'd say, oh, it, uh, you know, what, TLC is tra uh, trading for 27 and 3 eighths. Yeah. With a fraction. Yeah. yeah. So when did that change into actual That sense? was the late 90s. Really? Know? So you really had to 
know your math and know your fractions and be quick. That was all part of it. You know, there was no formal training or classes that you could take to become a trader. Like you just really had to go down there and it was baptism by fire. <laughs> you started, had to be quick with numbers, quick with math. Why did they and, change it to, uh, to, to from fat? Why was it even in fractions? Do you have any idea? Yeah, it was for the spread. So there's, there was a spread in between, and that's where a market maker or a trader would make money. So if you were a customer, meaning if you were a hedge fund or you know, restitutal capital, and uh-huh. you had a few billion dollars. One day, one day. Yeah. <laughs> that's my vision for you. Hey, yeah. I'm ready for it. Yeah, and, uh, so you say you want to buy... Um, half a million shares of, let's call it GE or something okay. like that, right? So you would have to call somebody, you know, you couldn't, there was no machines exactly, or things like yeah. that, and you would have to call somebody and, and tell them that that's what your intentions were to do, right? You know, that order Everything went to a, so much slower. Yeah, that order then went to a trading desk, and that trading desk would then send the order to the floor of the stock exchange. And so from everything there, went to the floor? About 90%. Wow. 90%, 95% percent of the order flow. Yeah. Wow. And then the spread was where we had to make the markets. So you were... You know, you were incentivized to make markets based on trying to make the money in between the spread. And so the spread, then as you as a customer were saying, well, why am I paying this spread? You know, and then the more pressure that came to the marketplace, you know, people just pushed for decimalization. Oh, and, interesting. You know, and that's where the, it all started. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's such a different world. So I now know. you do something completely different. I know. That seems like a lifetime ago. Yeah. I mean, and it was like, well, about, yeah, exactly. <laughs> a couple, a couple of years, years ago. <laughs> so before we get into that, we're going to go into our second drink. We're gonna okay. Make, we're going to make people anticipate what it is. Do you want to hear some, the story about the blindfold? Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Tell so, me about this. Okay. So I, like I said, I was blindfolded one and only one time. <laughs> Okay. And it, I totally freaked out. It was by Christy. Okay. All right. I, mean, I know it's a family okay. show. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's not like that. Oh, oh it wasn't yeah. like that. No, you're saying it was like that, so no. I can't go into it any no, further. No. <laughs> okay, so we go on. Um, <laughs> That's funny. And uh, you've never driven with Christy. But anyway, we're going on a trip, and you know, she's surprising me. We would surprise each other all the time about different things we were doing for each other. And so she was surprising me, and we were going on a trip. And then she said, okay, you have to put this blindfold on now. Okay. Um, you know, and we were at a certain point in the trip, and I said, uh, "Okay." So I put it on, and I freaked out. I freaked out because all of a sudden it was just bumpy. Well, we're in the car, and it's bumpy, and it's like turning, and it's it was pitch dark before we started on uh-huh. this trail or whatever we were going. And uh, I just finally, I just finally ripped it off. I was like, oh, "What the heck is happening?" You know, and uh, we were going to a cabin that was deep into the woods somewhere. Uh, the part, the point was, but she ended up getting lost on the trail. Oh. Right? So we ended up finding our way and having yeah, a great time. Funny, but that was funny. the only time I've been blind. Uh, well, it's not, not, not anymore. Not yeah, anymore. Not, it's, 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 uh, it's funny. This is gonna be a little gross. We got a little, a little mix out, a little mixage going on. I recognize you. How are you? Other four senses. Yeah. You know what? That's. Uh, that I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grab some clean glasses. Okay. Mmm. Bubbly. Here you go. Take a sniff. Cheers. Oh, you, you're a straight shooter. You just like, let, let, me, let me down the whole thing. <laughs> Bubbly and orange. And I'm going to go with, uh, it's an orange flavored seltzer. Oh, you were close. You're pretty much. You could take it off. It is a San Pellegrino. They're essentially like wow, seltzers. Those are good. They are good. Yeah. But they're actually they have 130 calories, so they're not seltzers. Okay. Seltzers. It's basically have, sugar water. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess water. It's, basically it's water, fructose, sugar, fructose, yeah, fructose. orange juice concentrate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, water and but sugar. But you went all out. That's thing. the fancy stuff. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do it. <laughs> That's not expired. That was good. That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So, all right, now oh, let's right. get into. Yeah, it's very good. Want a little more? Yeah, sure. Load you up over there. Um, so now let's transition okay. um, into what, so why did you end up leaving the, that industry and going, and then a, completely in a different one, completely different one? Yeah. So I ended up being ejected from the industry in, in, <laughs> in, the, in the fact that I was laid off. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Well, that's, there we go. Yeah. Um, but that was really just what had been happening for so many years prior to that you know so it wasn't really a total shock to the system i just knew there was an inevitability to it in the fact that every like so every six months to a year for the last five to seven years of my career within 
within six months, either the guy to the right of me or the gal, guy or gal to the right or left of me was laid off. Because, because of technology? Because of technology and because of, like, you, you nailed it, like, the compression of the market, you know, it started to become, the business started to become margin compressive, meaning, so we just gave that example before, making the spread, right? So now you're not making a spread, now you're paying, you're getting paid commissions from a client. Oh, wow. Right? Okay. And the commissions maybe started at... 15 cents a share to a 10 cents a share to three cents a share to a penny to a share from a, to a fraction of a penny a share right so you know the revenue lines within the investment banks within our division which is equities just kept going down right so it's like say you're the boss in the corner office and you're making multiple millions of dollars right uh -huh. so you know your boss is saying to you hey what's going on here like you know these revenues are going down uh, you know what's what's happening you need to fix this so if there's no more way to make money, the next way is to cut expenses. Yeah, exactly. You're so, fired, and you're exactly. fired, and you're so, fired. That just kept happening for years, you know. So I wasn't really surprised um, at the fact that it happened to me, you know. Yeah, and but it ended up being a blessing in disguise. It was a blessing right? in disguise. Yeah. So, I gotta say that when I walked out of there that day, I felt like a weight was lifted off my chest. Really? Yeah. And I walked down to Penn Station, and I felt so free. That's wild, yeah. actually. And you know what? It was a it was a choice I would have never made by myself. Uh -huh. You know, I would have never left that you. job to go take a risk and do something totally uh -huh. different. So. Yeah, that is, <laughs> it's pretty cool, man. So let's transition now into this newer business. So a year or two goes by, right, where you're looking for work, yeah. and then something happens. Where how do, how do you get into this new business, and how about you explain what that is? Yep, so, uh, you know, a year... Plus went by without any type of formal work, you know, okay. but like, you know, working for friends, picking up side jobs, things of that nature. And, uh, you know, you know, there was some definitely stressful and dark, oh, yeah, and dark times sure. within that period. You know, sure. that, that, that feeling of, you know, relief and the, the, the <laughs> way it lifted off my chest <laughs> was good for a while until, you know, yeah, there's no income funny. coming in and the bills keep piling up. So, uh, you know, really, um, it, it was something that I prayed about. I was in my backyard, and it was had been like a rough patch for a couple of days, right? And uh, you know, you know, working labor jobs and just having like a stressful time. And I remember just looking up, and like it was this moment of like, please, like, just give me some type of guidance, something that will give me a path, a direction, an idea, or something like that. And no, you know, no nonsense. I like I looked down, and Christy and I had built a, a ninja warrior obstacle course for our kids maybe four or five years ago for one of their birthdays and uh i was like i was looking at the course and i just went inside and christy took some pictures of the course and put it on facebook and you know we started to get interest immediately so wow. what uh, the business started as it was uh you know building manufacturing delivering installing ninja warrior obstacle courses for kids it's so wild and it's <laughs> So, thought, right? Exactly. So, so for those that don't know, Ninja, uh, what it, it's just American Ninja Warrior, right? It's a yep. famous show. It's a show that's been on for a couple of years now, probably like, oh, I'd say ten plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just it's become this whole subculture, right? That I didn't really even know about until I mean I knew about the show, but I didn't know about the culture until yeah. you were telling. Like apparently, like kids, like especially kids, like really look up to these Ninja Warriors, right? Yeah. Well, it's a great example in a in a world where. There's so much nonsense on TV or things that, you know, you can sure. feel like your kids are sitting there rotting their brains, right? Yeah. This is a good family show that we got into, and it's just really fun. Yeah, but it's the, almost the athletes like... athletes are cool. You get to hear their yeah. backstories. You get to root for them. But and... I didn't actually... So, what I guess makes this show different than other shows like it is, like, I thought that it was, like, these one-off random people that would be on these shows. Mm -hmm. But from what I've heard from you, is like, there are actual people that just keep going back. It's almost like WWE, where you, like, follow a character almost. You exactly, know? yeah. And you follow your favorite star. And only these are real people, you know. And yeah, they're real people, real, real lives. Stories, and yeah. they're working real hard to, yeah, absolutely. to, to and get I just, through those courses. It's cool to see, like, oh, I'm, I'm a fan of this person. Or mm -hmm. I went to this person's gym. Exactly. And, like, that, when you started saying that, it blew my mind, so... So you started building these courses, yeah. And then, how, what did you do? You sell them? Do you rent them out? How does it go? Both. So we started um, just building, building them out of our backyard, and you know, we would fulfill orders as as they came in, and we started them for for sale. And then, like like as as we get to talking, like the business just keeps evolving on itself, right? And we just keep following where, you know, the customers are telling us to go, and people just started asking, "Can we rent the course?" So we built 
couple extra courses and started putting them out for rent. So yeah, we you know we build them, uh, deliver them to uh, people's houses, set them up in their backyards. Um, yeah, you, know, you can rent them for a birthday party. Uh, you can rent them for a weekend. Um, you just give us a call and let us know. And we moved from working out of the backyard to a workshop, which yeah. you've been to, right? And, yeah, uh, it's pretty. It's not only. It's not just a workshop. It's yeah. a whole uh, experience. Like it's 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 more than a workshop because you. Um, what would you call it? Like it's like a showroom almost. But. Yeah. So that was our idea that we're going to show the obstacles in the front. Yeah. And you know, Christy came up with the idea that well, if we're going to be you know, building and showing obstacles, why don't we just set up a little course? And now yes, exactly. you can come there, experience the course, um, have a party there, have a play date there. And as you speak, your wife is hosting a party There's right now. There's a party going on exactly. right now. Yeah, and that's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, not your show? Yeah, 10 or 15 screaming kids is not my strong Oh, that suit. is funny. So I got three of my own. Yeah. That is, that's <laughs> funny, actually. But you got to play your strengths. So. 100%. Yeah. That is really funny. I love that, actually. And she does a great job with it. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I love that. That's really funny. Because yeah. when you got here and you told me that she had this the thing, I'm like, oh, like I wonder, like, did you have to take off like for this? But you intentionally yeah, planned about it. That's so <laughs> funny. I love that. That's really cool. Yeah. So very interesting. And we play off each other very well because that's something that she's really good at, and you know the marketing and, and dealing with the kids and having everybody together and playing yeah. the games. Yeah. And, so. sure your kids get to be the guinea pigs. Like you get, you get to build exactly. a new thing. And you're like, all right, kids, you try this yeah. out. Which is yeah. Pretty cool. They're, they're the quality control. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if they can't break it. Nobody can. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. So what are some of the uh, the obstacles you've created? Um, well, the most well-known one is the warped wall. You know, mm -hmm. So we've done that up to you know, 10 feet. Um, you know, people have asked for all different types of heights, but you know, just from a comfortability standpoint and the integrity of it, like we've gone up to 10 feet. Um, Did you have a background in any sort of woodworking beforehand? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of trial by fire, like you said. Yeah, it was really just something, um, I guess it was a, a latent skill or something because I... Yeah, it just came natural. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you know, I'm I'm blessed for that because yeah. I, I really needed something to, like I said, to start to pop off a little bit. Yeah. But um, you know, I just gotta say, you know, it's probably within the genetics. You know, of my dad being very handy and grandfathers and things like that. So. So where would you see the company in a couple of years? Let's answer that question. Then we're gonna go to the next drink. Okay. Um, like, what would be the goal for it? Do you want to make, like, a franchise of it? Would you like to just stay on the island? Like, what's your personal goal for it? Yeah, so now, so we have, you know, the Born Again Backyards is kind of splintered into, you know, the Born Again Backyards, and then the place that you've been to, it's called the Kids Course, K-I-D-Z. Oh, cool, okay. So that's its own company. And then for our, you know, desks and furniture, it's called Daily Designs. So, you know, where, where do I see the, uh, the vision for all this? You know, you mentioned franchise. I think... If it you know if it starts to be successful, I think that kids course K I D Z I think that could be cool. something that could be franchised or replicated because you know we've had under ten parties there so far and the reception has been huge. Yeah. You know, it's, I just think it's something especially in these times that yeah. is you know necessary for you know having the kids get together, have some fun, and things like that. And as far as the you know the obstacles, if it you know if it was something that we could scale. We got to we got to figure that out yeah. because it's very um, you know, it's a lot of heavy lifting associated with it as far as the customization, the customer service, you know, getting it right for the customer, you know. Um, and then if you kind of like ship it, it and stuff, it'd yeah, be exactly, yeah, you know, and getting it to customize to what they need, what their backyard is. Hey, maybe I oh, only yeah. have maybe I only have you know six feet by ten feet. Yeah, can you build me something? Yeah. You know what I mean? And of course, we're gonna try. We're gonna make that happen. Or hey, I got multiple acres and yeah. I want a really big course. Um, oh, but funny you say that because there was a uh, um, a story from Channel 7 that did a local story on us. Oh, cool. Okay. But I guess what happened was it started to go to different local units. So we started to try, you know, it was amazing because all of a sudden we get, you know, from Texas, like 10 people trying to inquire about really? getting a course. And then it went from that to Colorado, to Utah, to Vermont. So I think it was like going off in these different regions, the story. So Has it really gives us the idea that people are if we interested, could, yeah. and if we could figure out some type of, you know, distribution and things like that. But that's yeah. that's down the road for that's sure. That's cool, man. Yeah. Well at least it shows that people are interested. Yeah. That's wild. All right, so we're going to go into the next drink, and as a new part of the show, as we've seen in the first couple episodes, yeah. I have the guests bring me a drink. I, I saw that. So, there we go. All right, so this is, I think this is going to be clean enough from what we're doing. All right. And I saw Kevin Roby brought two drinks, so I did the same. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> 
Shout out to Kevin. <laughs> I noticed, Kevin, you didn't have yours cool. So I brought oh, one of the ice packs. Oh, he's calling you out. <laughs> that is funny. I'm gonna give you a bunch of hints. I'm just gonna have to. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'll let you go for it. Okay. All right. You know, I gotta open up another mask for myself at some point because this smells like my guitar strings. Because <laughs> it's what I used to wipe my guitar with. Oh, there we go. Look at that. There you go. I got it right here. We're all set? Yep. Cheers. Cheers. It smells, is it like some sort of grape? Oh! Is it a sloppy? This is a, seven, a Slurpee from a 7-Eleven. Nailed it. The consistency yes. got it to you, huh? I, I was <laughs> just telling Jamie that I was like, I want a Slurpee. Oh, yeah. This is perfect, man. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> You nailed it right off the bat. I thought I maybe love, you have some I, trouble I with it. I love these yeah. things, man. These things are so good. I don't have them. You know what's funny? I live right by a 7-Eleven and I just yeah, don't get them often the enough. Yeah. They're so good. Which What flavor is this? The, uh, this is blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. Yeah. I was off with the grape, huh? That's how good stuff. It is. It's so easy to get a brain freeze with these things, though. <laughs> and you go on uh, July 11th and you get a free Slurpee. For and that's Caitlin's birthday. Day. That's oh, that's perfect! Yeah. Look at that! Yeah. That is perfect! So we're going with the whole bunch, yeah. That is cool. Yeah. That is good we stuff. We try to get one every time she goes in, we show her birth certificate, but they're not down with that. Oh, see, that's yeah. ridiculous. She should get one every day of the year. She, she should, wanted. because yeah. her birthday's on 7 Eleven. You know, did you, do you carry around her birthday? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that one, you should try it. Have you tried it? No. Oh, you should try it. Yeah. You should have You it. mean doctor one up for me, or just get her real one? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, either or. Both. You, both, you, you were in the same thing. You gotta be honest. Yeah. <laughs> that was, this is a good one. This was really good. Are you ready for your next one right away? Yeah, right, let's go. So we're gonna go right on to the next one. Okay. Oh, I mean, that was refreshing. Let's get all that flavor out of there. That was a good one. You know I'll be what? very surprised if you get this one. I know that's kind of a hint. It's not actually. I have no clue what it could be. <laughs> Are we all set? Yeah, we're good to go. Oh, okay, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. It's tainted. Tainted with the blue raspberry. No, it's not. But by, by the blue <laughs> raspberry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that they're cold, so yeah. I appreciate you bringing them with the, uh... Yeah. Which That's what a good guest does, right? Where, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. We're chasing a, a lot of random drinks, man. I know. They're, they're going down. And then our bellies are going to be low. For real. I think I stumped you. You ever see how they taste wine? Where they do the whole, like... Oh, God. <sighs> yeah. That's fancy. It's apparently for the air circulation, right? Oh, okay. I think so. I have no clue. Oh, oh, is it some sort of, is it some sort of tea? Like an iced tea? No, nope, you're off base. Some sort of monster? It's a Red Bull. No, but oh. now you got to the category though. Monster Red Bull, five yeah. hour energy? I don't know. Could I take I just, yeah, just I stumped you. Oh, jo Jocko. Gold. Oh, is that by the, the, the military guy? Yeah. That's sick, man. Yeah, and this is Sour Apple Sniper, so it's actually sour after, apple after one of his guys, JP Fidel. That is wild, man. That's yeah. cool that he branded this. You got that at 7-Eleven too? No. Oh. You, you gotta order it off a dark op site. I can't tell you anything about it. <laughs> actually, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can get them at Vitamin Shop or online. Really? That's yeah. cool, man. That is cool. Good for him. That's really cool. I'm impressed, man. That's really cool that he branded that. Yeah. If any of your listeners are into uh, Jocko at all, you should definitely look up uh, the podcast he had with JP Dunnell. Okay. Yeah, it's very powerful. All right. Cheers. This is good. That will be jacked up. Yeah, for real. I just drank a coffee, too. <laughs> <laughs> so we got all this sugar, and I'll, I'll we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not sleeping tonight. <laughs> You'll be putting out a lot of YouTubes tonight. <laughs> 37 videos today. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. This is good. It's actually... It, 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 it it's got a mild taste to it, right? Yeah. So it has a sour apple taste, so it, yeah. it's actually pretty good. Let's transition now into the... Um, <clears throat> where were we? Where, where were we in the conversation? How seasonal is your business? Mm -hmm. You know, like... How you, in the winter, obviously, people aren't having... At least in New York, aren't having outdoor parties. Yep. Uh, oh, the drinking with Jacob effect is coming in. The bourbon effect. <laughs> we got all these random things. I, I have them, like, right here, and it's ready, it's ready to come out. Just let it go. Yeah, so... <laughs> Um, so how seasonal is, is your business and how, how, how have you seen that be? Because you just had your first full year. That's right, yeah. And ha obviously, like, I'm, I'm expecting things to be really busy for the summer. Yeah. 
a spring, summer, fall. But how, how does the winter go for you guys? Yeah, that was a good question because we thought it was going to just die off into nothingness, you know, at that point. And, um, like, you know, again, how they how these little sub-businesses all fed into each other was, again, just another idea that, you know, came from above, I believe, because I'm not that smart. You know? <laughs> I love it. You know, we were going through, we were going through a quarantine. Yeah, we were going through a quarantine and... There was a run on desks. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's almost like the run on toilet paper. Yeah, right? for real. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. But uh, this one was uh, made a little more sense than the other one. But anyway, you, know, you, couldn't, yeah. get, you couldn't get a desk anywhere. And so... That, uh, that, yeah, it made no sense. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. that's... Moving on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that does make a lot of sense. Because all these people, all these adults, but not even adults, all these kids were home yeah. from school. Yeah, so they, they had a home school. And they, you know, you couldn't buy a desk at you know, Walmart, Target, Staples... Wayfair, anything like that. So I, I just built a prototype for my son, and again, Christy did a couple posts on it, and then you know, now we're, so now we're, we went from being just in the obstacle business to in the desk yeah. business, you know. And again, as you said, like as the obstacles kind of slowed down, um, you know, we were actually surprised that some people bought obstacles like you know in November, we had a customer buy a big obstacle course, and then there was two uh, customers that wanted to get something as Christmas presents. So then that wow. goes through December. And then, you know, January and February was, um, I guess, people were inside and they were yeah, home. Sure and they were, not thinking about you know, they were saying, hey, um, hey, can you build me a table? Can you build me an end table? Can you build me, you know, this or that? And it just, you know, so that kept us busy all through the, uh, all through the winter up until real time right now. That's and amazing. as the weather turned, we started to get a lot of inquiries for the, uh, for the What's the storage business. like for that? Like, can you leave your, your equipment out over the winter? Yeah, ours has been out. Yeah, so that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. So ours has been out for wood? six six years now. It's been out. Wow, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's yeah. really cool. Yeah. So I don't know how long they'll last. Well, six years. I mean, yeah, I, I thought you were say six months or something like yeah. that. Yeah, but no, that's everything. Amazing. Yeah, everything is you know pressure treated and you know that's really cool. Towards, yeah, yeah. And um, a couple customers uh, recently have wanted to do different things so i've been able to go to their house and you know take some more measurements and things like that i was really happy to see that through this harsh winter that we had everything looked that's really, cool. really good yeah, yeah that's cool well, you'll get some dings and nicks and, of course you yeah. know, paint scrapes and things like yeah. that but, but for uh, the cosmetic for the part, stuff yeah. yeah that's fascinating man that's really this really tastes like uh sour apple yeah it's like, almost like a jolly rancher kind of food taste yeah it is right it's it nice. is pretty good yeah that's good stuff all right, we're going to move on to the fourth and final drink, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm debating. I'm like... <laughs> What's going to happen with this next drink? I don't know. I'm, it's getting late. I'm like... <laughs> I mean, are you still... You, I mean, obviously for the stock market, you used to be probably up at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Right? And you used to work in the city, too. Yeah. What time did you used to get up? It, within, it was, there was a four handle on it, for sure. <laughs> yeah, there was a four handle, yeah. So like what mid ta- four, yeah. What time do you go to... Like, what time did you used to go to bed? Uh, too late, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you lived that stock market uh, life. Yeah, huh? yeah. well, you know, because you were out in the city, and then a lot of times you had to you know, entertain work, and yeah. things like that. So I'd how, sleep about four to five hours. How relationship driven is that business still? That's everything the business still? is yeah everything, and that that was when you know the guys who trained me. You know, I'm so grateful that I got lucky to sit next to some some really good guys that have been you know had long. Is that long, how you train from the people next to you? Yeah, it's yeah. A, it has to be a big personality fit, for sure. The guy, really? Yeah, and the guy, you know, taught me everything he knew, and I, just from the first day, because I came off the floor. I the would love exchange. to sit down with you. Like maybe we'll do a set, a set follow up episode. I just, I, yeah. I Wall love, Street One Hundred and One. Oh, yeah. I love it, man. Yeah. It's I find it so fascinating. Yeah. It's just such an interesting industry to me. Yeah, and I, I say a lot that if I wasn't a musician, I would definitely be doing something in finance. Oh, yeah, you're very intrigued by it. I, I really know you're I like it, it a yeah. lot. Yeah. yeah. But you know, what, just you know, to simplify it, I mean, when I sat next to him, you know, he just changed my perspective because I thought it was all about making as much money as you could um, every day, um, like it was a sport, like you had to win and you had to make as much money as you could for the desk, for the firm, and everything like that. And he just said, "You have it all wrong. You have to do everything you can for the customer." You know, and that's where you build the relationship with the customer. Interesting. And those relationships that I started to build, you know, I still have. Well, them to this day yeah. in a way that your customer 
you want to do the right thing from him by him you know have like a lot of integrity and always do the right thing by the customer and once you do that you might lose money for your your, your pad for your firm but in the, it's a long game you know yeah, it's not absolutely. a day by day game like absolutely. hey if you lose a certain amount of money but you were able to you know help the customer out then yeah. that will go a long way yeah. yeah it's so fascinating man it's so interesting all right, you ready for the fourth and final drink? Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> I feel myself. I'm ready to go for a run, man. No, I'm ready. <laughs> well, why don't we hit that um, weight bench? Right? Yeah, we'll hit the, yeah, we'll hit the gym down here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kind of continuing along the theme, the most recent theme at least. I haven't had one of these in a long time. Cheers. Oh, here. Sorry. Cheers. Yeah. I'd be very impressed if you got this from the scent. No, it doesn't smell like much. It doesn't taste like much either. You just go for it, man. You're like, let me take the whole thing. <laughs> Vitamin water. Oh, you were close. It is a Gatorade. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I could, you could take Wait, that so out. let me... Oh, let okay. Be, yeah, um, let me finish this. I'm about to go for a mile, uh, a marathon run after this, man. <laughs> I just drank a coffee. I just had this thing. <laughs> Lemon lime? No, it is not. Is it like one of the new age flavors? I don't know. It's... The fr it's the, the lighter blue. Oh, okay. I do like that one. You seem like you're a Gatorade drinker. I have, yeah. I've like dabbled. kids and see you dabbled. <laughs> Here and there. So, that's funny. You know what I've come to terms with, though? That all these drinks are marketed really well, but they're all just sugar. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Can't read that. Yeah. My, eyes, my eyes are shot. Right from the side. Yeah. Yeah, water, sugar, dextrose, yeah. citric yeah. acid. Yeah, so... It's less calories in this than you, I would expect. It's only 80 calories in this. If I, was, if I was, you know, coming from a workout or a run or something, I would just have water. Yeah, I hear yeah. you. I agree. Yeah. I agree. But, all That's right, nice. man. Any uh, any final thoughts, burning desires you want to get up here? <laughs> <laughs> Where should I start? <laughs> <laughs> um, That's funny. No, not really. I mean, it's just really, uh, it was really great to get here. You know, yeah, it was Sit fun. down with you Absolutely. and rap a little bit, you know, yeah. and... Uh, you know, you've been part of the journey. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's, I want to thank cool. you for that because oh. you've 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 seen it from 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 the jump off. Right? Yeah, that's what and, I was about uh, to say. It's cool to see the concept happen to now. You got businesses booming. Yeah, I, I, well, the most craziest thing is to see like you guys started a year ago and the place that you have. See, how big is that place? It's about twenty three hundred square feet. Yeah, it's yeah. like <laughs> the size of a, an average house on Long Island. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, it's amazing. Like it's it, so it's huge. I mean, it's more like a warehouse style space. That you guys have it's a very long space and stuff. But yeah, it's amazing. And it, yeah, after I, year one, you know, hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully it's an exponential graph and we're going like this. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> you're just you're just at the, the bottom of the S curve. You know, or whatever that curve is, right? Yeah. So that's no, cool, it's, it's just starting off. I just gotta say. Um, you know, we're really grateful and we're really blessed because it's not really something where we're doing it just for the financial gain, sure. right? Because I've lived a life for so long that was really just focused on, you know, making as much money as you can. But along with that, um, you know, there was also an emptiness as well because you really get caught in that cycle of... Um, more and then comparison to others and then it becomes very ego driven and things like that so you know when i look back you said it was a blessing in disguise it really was a blessing in disguise to get all that ripped away from me right and you know the you know force feeding on, on humble pie right it's yeah like, it's like yeah you know, like that be humble you know yeah. be humble or get humbled right yeah. yeah so you know we got humbled wow. in a way that you wouldn't believe right yeah. and then it just really gave us a whole new perspective on what really matters, right? And when you boil it down for us, it just became what really matters was family, like the family unit and the kids. And now and you're having like other that. families get together and yeah, stuff. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's really just, um, you know, work isn't everything. You know, I think for, for such a long period of time, uh, a job or a career became my identity. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. now it's not, you know, now it's not, it's really what, um, you know, quality of life right and, and finding something that you know i don't think is going to get us rich and multi-millions of dollars in the bank but hey is it going to be able to pay the bills are we able to going to be around are we going to be able to go to all the sports games and things yeah. like that now you can't really put a price tag on that so. uh, i hear you absolutely it's amazing man yeah, so do you guys have a slogan for your company yet 
No. I think you could do something. I was just thinking about this. Okay, you hey, say no. got, we'll take suggestions. I, I was thinking hey, like... put them in the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah if you guys have any suggestions for us, smoking, absolutely, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I was thinking something like helping family get through one obstacle at a time. Wow. You know, something along the lines like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> you play on that. I play yeah, on the there's obstacle. something that's going to yeah. be there with that. Absolutely. All right, man. Well, I really appreciate you drinking with Jacob. Thanks yeah, a lot, Yeah, thank man. you so much. It was a lot of fun. I really appreciate it. Of course. We'll be back in a year, okay? Yeah. <laughs>